Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoops. Always helps to pay attention when you're doing things, boys. Cheers. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Hey everybody, what's happening? Sammy the, Sammy the Thrifty Brewer coming at you and happy Homebrew Wednesday. Oh, thought I'd give you guys a bit of a review on my Centennial IPA. That's how she pours when you don't muck it up coming out of the tap, that is. I uh, finished off at uh, 7.4 ABV and drinking exceptionally well. Um, nice dark color that's from the um Cara munich and Cara bohemian that i added um i'm not i'm not entirely sure i don't have the recipe in front of me unfortunately but those of you who actually you know what i do have the recipe in front of me right here <laughs> what do you know so i'll give you a quick review of the recipe um 78.5 percent of uh two row and we had 10.1 percent of carapils 5.1 percent of munich uh, 4.2% of Crystal 60, but I did substitute in uh, Carol Bohemian instead of the Crystal 60 because I didn't have any. And then 2.1% um, of Cara Munich. Uh, hop additions are as follows. I had 23.97 grams of Centennial at 60 minutes, and then 32.27 grams of Centennial at 20 uh, added a war flock at 15 minutes with yeast nutrient at 15 minutes as well. And finally did a whopping 45.91 grams for a steep and whirlpool for 30 minutes at 80 degrees Celsius. Um, fermented with uh, USO5. And then at the very, very end, I did a four day dry hop with 67.85 grams of Centennial. And it smells amazing. It smells amazing. The really one really really cool thing is that when I first tried it off of um, right off of the dry hop, it was as you saw last week. It was like really really punchy, um, and it had a really good Centennial kick right in the nose, um, which I love. I mean, Centennial is one of my most favorite hops. One of my most favorite, most favorite. If that's an actual sentence. It is one of my favorite hops to use. But this has been uh, in the keg for uh, roughly about a week, week and a half now. And the week in the keg has allowed the flavors to sort of come together a little bit. You get a really nice caramel note right off the nose. With a significant amount of hop presence there for sure based on what I used. And I hear somebody coming down the stairs. Yes, baby. Um, we have no more bacon. Give me one second, fellas. As I was saying, uh, great caramel nose um, from the Cara Bohemian and the Cara Munich. And I love, I've never used Cara Bohemian before. Where I picked up the grains, they said it's a pretty decent substitute for Crystal 60 and possibly even slightly in a higher amount for Crystal 120. And I got to say, I'm very, very pleased. So that's how it looks. I mean... That's how it looks. I cold crashed it for a couple of days before I put it in keg. And Carapils obviously adds um, a nice amount of lacing to the glass. And uh, let's give her a taste, shall we? Cheers. And a happy homebrew Wednesday. You know, I'm biased. I'm biased because I love Centennial. Love it so much I grow it in the backyard, as you guys know. Um, it's a really great dual purpose hop. I mean, this only came in at, uh, sorry, 71 IBUs. Um, but yeah, ABV on that is like 7.4, so it's high up there. Now, the interesting thing is the beer finished dry. And it doesn't drink like a dry beer. I mean, I think it came out like 10.04, I think, if I remember correctly. 
sorry, sorry, 10.06. Um, but it doesn't drink like a dry beer. Like you could have several of them. The problem is, is that at 7.4 ABV, several turns into a very, very, very early night, if you know what I mean. That being said, I'm happy with how this beer has turned out. I am definitely going to brew it again in the very, very near future. Um, I want to give a thanks out to the Tony and Nate and other guys, uh, SJ and Chris and, and Brad and all those lads that I talked with and Josh and all those other guys and, the, and Kevin Clements, all those guys I talked to on a daily basis because I essentially had six ounces of Centennial and I gave them my hop schedule and, and they said, what do you have left over? I said, this much. And I said, well, dry hop, four days. It's like it was meant to be. And it worked out great. I mean, I would totally, totally, totally do it again. Those of you who want the recipe, send me a note or send me a message. Um, I will be more than happy to share it with you. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very pleased with it. But I'm loving the color. It's essentially, this is going to be my new base grain recipe uh, for, for my IPAs. Because I love the caramel. I love it. It adds a significant amount, a significant amount of body to it, that works really, really well in balancing out the overall hop presence there. Because don't get me wrong, I'm a huge hoppy beer fan. 71 IBUs. That's enough hops for me. I probably could, I maybe could have pushed it higher, but there's no point in making it an overly bitter beer. Um, I'm a big proponent in saying if you're going to brew something. Um, brew something that you like. Um, so for me, this works. Um, you could probably add some honey malt to it. You could probably cut down uh, the Caramunic if you wanted to, to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, sort of lighten up the color, knock down the, um, the maltiness a little bit. But I like the color. Love the color. And I love the lacing. Absolutely love it, and yeah, I'm very, very pleased. Now the problem is, is that um, only finished only finished off with like 19 and a half liters, which is not a bad thing, I know, but it drinks really, really easily. I can turn a Sunday afternoon into a Sunday evening, if you know what I mean. Nap time on the couch and whatnot. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, just a quick little review on that. I'm going to do an update on the Rudy Tutti Pale Ale, which is drinking extremely, extremely well. And then we've got uh, the Chinook IPA, uh, more commonly known as Monica Lewinsky. I'll touch base on that in the next week or two as well. So anyways, you guys, I want to thank you so very much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share the video. And if you haven't subscribed or are not subscribed yet, What's holding you back? There's a little button down below. Click it. it. says subscribe. That way you'll get the wicked email updates in terms of all the new stuff that I'm coming out with. And doing so allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. And it's a good thing. Very good thing. Life is good. It's a good day to be alive. Anyways, you guys, this is Sammy the 30 Brewer saying, if you're going to do something to do with a homebrew, well, by all means, keep calm and brew on. And most importantly, please be safe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. All the best. And cheers. Oh. <laughs> what a hobby. What a hobby. <laughs> Fantastic. Cheers, you guys. Take care. All the best. Cheers. Take care.